In this video, we'll be completing an electron configuration. An electron configuration is a list of each element's position within the atom. And it's very similar to an orbital filling diagram. It's just a different way of representing the same information. In fact, it's a little bit quicker of a method. Now, we've already completed an orbital filling diagram for vanadium in the past, but let's just review that quickly. We start with vanadium. It's number 23, so we keep track of all 23 of vanadium's electrons. We have to work our way through the S block, the P block, and the D block, all the way up to number 23, vanadium. We have to stop at each block. So 1S, this is energy level 1, sublevel S, and sublevel S has one orbital. We have 2S, this is energy level 2. In energy level 2, there's one sublevel, it's S, and it has one orbital. Now 2P. 2P has three orbitals. 3S, 3P, 4S, and 3D. Now the electron configuration, like I mentioned, is the same information, just represented in sort of a condensed fashion. So let's go ahead and fill in all the arrows that represent the electrons. Now you can see, in energy level 1, there's two electrons. So we write 1s2. This tells us energy level. This tells us the sublevel. And this tells us how many electrons there are. So 1s2, 2s2, and 2p. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six electrons, so 2p6. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and 3d3. So this is an electron configuration for vanadium. And you probably guessed that we can do a shorthand electron configuration as well. We follow the same rules. Go back to the preceding noble gas. In this case, it's argon. So starting with argon, we have 4s and 3d. So 4s2, 3d3. So in review, this is an orbital filling diagram. This is an electron configuration. And this is a shorthand electron configuration.